again, Lindsay Norrell with LilPumpkin.com and we're outside in this hot weather today to show you how to take two old wooden sliding closet doors from my boy's bedroom and turn them into something fun with Rust-Oleum Magnetic Primer and the Rust-Oleum Chalkboard Paint. To start out, we've taken our doors off outside where we can get some fresh air and we've sanded them down with an electric sander. You can also use manual if you'd like, but we had a big job to do. Now after we've wiped off all the dust and prepped our surface, we're going to hide and go with the primer. It's magnetic and they recommend three coats, thin, drying between 30 minutes a piece. So we're going to go ahead and get started and we'll see you after we've primed. So here we are now. We have all three coats of the magnetic primer applied. We waited the full 30 minutes in between coats and I used a foam roller brush of about four inches wide to apply it. Maybe next time I would actually use one a little bit wider just so it wouldn't take quite so long. And overall though I think it, it applied very easily. It was hot so it dried pretty quick. And now we're ready to add the top coat of chalkboard paint. So here we are later in the day. We've just applied our second coat of the chalkboard paint. You can hear my geese in the background there. Not happy that I'm recording out here. And anyway, we went ahead and used another foam roller, a clean one. And when I poured my paint into my pan, I actually lined the pan with some aluminum foil for easier cleanup. This way I'm not rinsing out um, paint pans. And it's a little cheaper than buying the disposable ones. So we're gonna take a look here and see our finished chalkboard paint and unfortunately for me my cat decided to walk across this um, but it is dry so that'll just be dust that <laughs> that we can uh, get rid of later so this is actually going to dry for just a little bit longer and then we'll be able to take it into the house and hang it up after we hang it up we will need to allow it to cure for a total of three to four days before the kids actually use it for the chalkboard part, but we'll at least have it up so that they're not having unfettered access to the closet, which is kind of a little bit of a problem right now, so. One other thing that I want to point out is that the edges of the door, we didn't want to be a bare wood, so we did use a Rust-Oleum black primer paint just on the edge before we did the blackboard paint. And this way, you know, we didn't have to use more of the magnetic that we didn't need because we're not gonna be putting magnets on the inside edge, obviously, but yet it would match the rest of the door. So here we are. We've completed our two closet doors. What do I think? Well, overall, I am very pleased. We took two very outdated 70s style wooden sliding doors that did nothing for the style and functionality of my kid's bedroom and we made them a little bit more fresh and functional. They serve as a really good place for them to use their chalk, and it just makes a very clean look. Now, one thing I did take away is the magnetic features of the Rust-Oleum primer didn't quite come out the way I hoped they would, and there are two reasons I think that this happened. Number one, we had such a large surface area that it was really hard to evenly distribute those filings that are found inside the magnetic primer. We stirred and stirred and stirred, and we did exactly as the directions asked us to but I really think because of a large area like this is hard to work with, we could have benefited from a couple extra bottom coats as well as maybe stirring and stirring and stirring and stirring again a little bit more. Also, anytime you apply something over the primer, which it says you can, one to two coats, and we did with the chalkboard paint, you lose some of the effectiveness of that magnetic function. So you wanna make sure the coats of the top coat are very thin, use one if you can, two if you absolutely have to. And we did two coats and they may have been a bit thick, which took the magnetic and made it even more diluted. So, we learned a couple things from this. I would highly recommend if you're going to use that magnetic primer, you start with a small area, you get an idea of the texture and the feel and how it is applied, and you kind of master that before you move on to a bigger area. Overall though, I am very happy. My kids, they're excited to see that their big ugly doors are gone and they have a place that they can use their chalk. This is just one project that we're going to be doing to give our playroom a more fresh and updated look, and we're working with Walmart to make that happen. So be sure to stop by lilpumpkin.com, and you can see this project in detail, as well as several others we're going to be doing this fall. Thanks!